and welcome back to more Broken Sword. The address led me to a dead end alley at the end of a dead beat mall. No wonder I'd never heard of Beery Security. Hmm. Let's get stall. The stall was a myriad of retro kitsch. Bottle stoppers, keychains, musical cards. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say. Please don't touch the sign. You'll just make it worse. Hi. I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for Vera Security. Yes, of course. It's the shop behind you. Thank you. Uh, the name's George, by the way. Call me Bassan. And do please forgive me, but I'm in no mood to talk. I had a resounding headache. Bad migraine, eh? The worst. The buzzing and flashing from the old sign is killing me. I thought the neon sign had potential until it broke. Is it your sign? No, the previous owners used to be a restaurant. But this is horrible. Adversely affecting my footfall and giving me a splitting headache. You want me to try fixing that sign for you? Do you know what you're doing? I'm very good at fixing things. <laughs> then please do. I'm no good at electricals. Marketing analysis and predicting trends is more my thing. Let's look at the saint. I took a good look at the sign. The wiring was exposed and the cover broken. I pulled the wire off. Well, that was one way to stop the letters flashing. Now only half the sign was illuminated. The wire, right? The system? Hmm. I know light was lights there, but well, what what to put there? Let's ask for Sam. Yeah, clear what what to put here. The buzzing and flashing is stopped, and I am very grateful. But the sign still looks pretty terrible, doesn't it? When you're building a brand from the ground up, name is everything. I need a name that makes my customers long for adventure. And treasures from faraway places. Tell me about your business idea. This stall is going to put me through college while giving me field experience. But the nonsense sign is working against me. It should spell a name for my shop. I need something original, yet familiar, bright and in your face, yet subtle and symbolic. I could take a look at you are like a genie. Genie from the magic lamp. Seem the letters could be moved around. Move so letters are right. right letters are sp um. I'd have to think of something else. Let's go to the VR security and we'll come back to this then later. Let's figure out what to actually change it to. Help! What's wrong? There's a monster! What? Where? <laughs> On the floor! Get rid of it! Oh, the cockroach! Yes, the cockroach! Help! Come here, little fella. I was never gonna catch it with my bare hands. You try. <laughs> There were crumbs on the floor. No wonder the cockroach was sticking around. Tempted or something. That would have violated the chemical. Okay, it was all wet. It's convention. Um. I needed a better idea. 
I've got an idea, yeah, I need something else. Something I don't have. There was a huge cockroach in the way. Can't really get past because the cockroach is in the way, so must be something in this side of the room. Leave that radio alone and sort this damn cockroach. Table. Romanovs. Ah. A Russian brand cigarette. The pack was empty. Romanov. As a child, I'd always been told not to play with matches, <laughs> but I never could resist. That's what made it helpful. The ashtray, the filters were gold colored, very exotic. It's only exotic foreign cigarettes from um, Russia. We can do something with the matchbox. I tipped out the matches. I couldn't catch it just by swiping at it. I'd need to entice it closer. Right. That wasn't worth trying. Oh my God, I can't set fire to it. <laughs> that was me. Um, here's the actual set fire. Ah, there we I go. I set down my matchbox. Cockroaches like hiding in dark places. Not a bad idea when you think about it. Hmm. Cockroach wasn't going for it. I needed some bait. I need some bait. I'm pick up any crumbs. The box. I don't have anything to put in it. Hmm. I refused to torture. <laughs> I was never. That's just something I need. I need something. I'm getting something I don't have. I needed a better idea. There was a. Hmm. Talk to the woman. Is she in your mouth? I'm cockroach. I see the little beggar. Hmm. The Vera phone. All expenses have been spared. Even the plant looked depressed. No, I'm not missing anything in here, so I need to go back out again. Let's see anything unless the Sam's got something he can give me. The stall was a myriad of retro kitsch. Bottle stoppers, key. Could you help me with a vermin problem, please? I'm sorry. Until I kickstart this business, I don't really have time for ancillary projects. I need a brand. A clear message that grabs my key demographic by the lapels and hurls them into my economic oh, belly. He's not going to help me in talk. Excuse me? You know, a name that sounds magical and exotic, that appeals to a yearning they only feel subconsciously. Do you know anything about Vera? Not really. I haven't been here long, but neither have they by the looks of it. Why do you say that? Rush setup, new sign, low investment, and no customers except for you. At least hey, the sign's not buzzing inside. anymore. I know, and I do appreciate it. But now it just spells nonsense. And as it says in all the books, branding is key. If only it spelled out a whole new world. That would send my business soaring. Whole new world. Keep dropping. And so a distant land, whole new world.
Yeah. Let's see if we just read these players' brain. How about that one? That seemed like a good name. Oh, Aladdin. Hey, Bissam. How about this? I know it's not your name, but Aladdin. Very cool. <laughs> That's a terrific name for my store. Hits every one of my USBs. Glad you like it. You're a genius, George. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Well, that was nicely done. Got that ah, one there. Ah, Mr. Stobart. What can I do? Took a wee while to actually figure it out. I do you happen think to about know a good way to catch walking. a cockroach? To be honest, George, I'm better at questions on balancing budgets within a liberal economic framework. But as a layman, perhaps I could suggest you trap it. And please, whatever you do, don't squish it. Why is that? The entire family will catch the scent and arrive for the funeral. Ooh, we don't want that. You need to find a container of some sort. Then I think add this. Rich tea. Oh, what's that, a cookie? The perfect cockroach biscuit. Dry, dull, unsatisfying, <laughs> and yet Rich tea biscuit. Moorish. Yeah. I'll give it a try. Oh, I like that. Glad to help. Alright, well, yeah, let's go and catch this cockroach so I can proceed further on in the storyline. Or else we'll keep you here for some time. I added some bait to the matchbox. Even I was finding it hard to resist. You're gonna go for it. You're gonna go for the biscuit. There he goes. Gotcha. You are a gentleman and no mistake. I hate cockroaches. Always ready to help a damsel in distress. I bet you are. Can I help you? Yes, please. Do you know if there's anyone in the office I can talk business with? Yes, me, Sherry. I'm Annette, the manager. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... The gloves. I just thought... Ah, easy mistake to make. If you haven't been reconstructed, that is. Oh, but I have been reconstructed. A number of times. From the ground up. Do you mind? I'm listening to the race. Annette was watching me like a hawk. Hmm. I'm doing this. Look, do you mind not touching the office equipment? Annette's peripheral vision was, quite simply, astounding. <laughs> so, I need to kind of distract her. <clears throat> Come here. Yes? There's been a theft at Le Lizard Bleu. A painting's been stolen. Shame. Still, I'm sure you'll get over it. I believe your company set up the security. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Didn't. <laughs> did. <laughs> I've got all day. Wow. Um... But I didn't. What did you do there later, then? She's not being very helpful. I caught the cockroach. Look, isn't he a sweetie? Ah, keep it away from me. <laughs> I've got a cookie. Those dry things are disgusting. It says here that Vera was hired to do the security at the gallery. Didn't do a very good job, did you? Where did you get that? At the gallery. That job was signed off. You can't say we were to blame. I was getting a bad feeling. The place looked like a front, and the only person there wasn't helping. Maybe the office itself could give me more yeah. information. Yeah, get past Are dogs. you done? Only I want to listen to this next race. I've got some matches. Yes, I saw you pick them up. Keep them. I can't afford to smoke anymore. No, thanks. <coughs> Do you recognize it? 
That would take the hair off your legs. I had a boss who wore that. Know what I mean? Do these clippers look familiar? Yes. I, I mean, no. Why should they look familiar? Thanks. Uh. The office looked like it had been put together in a hurry. Hmm. The place looked very much like temporary accommodation. Don't know what to do yet. Please stay on the other side of the counter. It was like she had some kind of psychic power. She could just feel what I was trying to do. The Vera phone. Hmm. What to do? I think I'll wait to, wait to distract her. I can't think I got my head a way to distract her. Aha, Mr. Stobart. What can Next I do for you? Bastan, maybe. I caught the cockroach. Look. Excellent work. Just don't let it loose near my stall. <laughs> In a few weeks, this place is going to be buzzing with people, I hope, not vermin. I think I'll keep him. I'll name him Trevor. Interesting name. Old school. Comforting. Harmless. Hmm. I can see you're quite a strategic thinker, George. So what are you selling? Ah, I'm glad you asked. I sell all those things you can't get anywhere else in Parry. Like... English biscuits, Turkish delight, French cassettes, Brazilian <laughs> cinema videos. <laughs> what do you think? I'm over the moon, George. Thanks to you, I can now sell my retro cavalcade of musical cards, brushes, souvenirs. And you know what they say, happy sellers make happy shoppers. That cookie did the trick. Right customer, right product. It's a winning combination. I decided to keep... If Bassam knew how flimsy the sign was, he wouldn't be happy. I've got some matches. Always good to have. Thank you for the cookie. You're very welcome. I didn't think there was much point. Mm, this is going nowhere. I've got little tears that didn't give me anything, so anything I can do it has to be somewhere else. Cause... The aircon went nicely with the Art Deco detailing. I don't think I've got left. Vera Security. I was going to get some answers there. I didn't I say the actual place itself. Cause... The place looked like it had been out of business for a while. I can't see a bus there. Do you mind? I'm listening to the race. Annette was watching me like a hawk. Hmm. One thing I could do is try a bit of diversion. Let's try this. Vera Security, we make you secure. I'd already adjusted the radio. Oh, I want to see what secrets the book has. Oh, this blank book. There was a photo. Of course, I grabbed it. Nothing else interesting. Let's have a wee look at this photograph. Annette and Lane. Oh. Is they an item? Recognize this? Hey, that's my photo. That's you with Lane, I believe. So, what if it is? What is he to you? 
My Hector, that's what he is. My little Hector. My little Hector. Yeah, I thought you said you had nothing to do with the gallery. Look, here's how it is. I've only been there a few weeks. I had nothing to do with that gallery job. I just delivered the paperwork. So, who was the manager before you? I don't know. She just, one day, didn't come in for work. I shouldn't be talking to you. The boss told me to keep my mouth shut. Yes? The boss. Have you got his number or address? No, I've forgotten it. I mean, I never knew it. Annette, a serious crime has been committed. You're in a lot of trouble. I had nothing to do with it. Look, I need this job. I need the money. Anyway, it's only a silly old painting. No one got hurt. <laughs> oh, got the no one got hurt. Was shot. <laughs> Badly? Yeah, he's pretty he's dead. He's pretty dead. <laughs> oh. Whoops. This is a murder investigation. Now, who's your boss? I don't know. Honest, he faxes me if he wants anything. He? Who's he? I've never seen him. Never met him. Hmm. Don't make trouble for poor Annette. Thanks. I was pretty sure Annette had told me all she was going to. She sounded scared. Time to put the thumb screws on Lane. And I knew just how. I'm going to get Lane. Another day, another fight with Mr. Lane. I don't like. I decided there was no point distracting Annette any further. I had the photo. So. Time to confront Lane. Time to confront Mr. Lane. And find the truth. Join us next time for more broken swords. More mystery, intrigue, and drama.